Spectator Lane. Derek Smith coming up next from Cartersville, Georgia. 400 cubic inch nitrous Ford motor in the 94 Mustang with that custom yellow and red paint job on the Winston side. Parkway Ford team machine. And out of Woodstock, Georgia, it'll be Tim Lynch on the Goodyear side. Another custom painted Ford. This one with a 398 cubic inch Ford V8 and 87 Mustang. Chevrolet Corvette, the top qualifier so far out of Hiram, Georgia, 8.11, 8.114 seconds, the time to beat to qualify number one here in Super Street today. Good side-by-side -side dash here to the finish line as Lynch stays ahead and gets the win line at 8.22, speed of 170. 8.54 for Smith at 162, which qualifies number two. Smith on the four with the Parkway Ford Team Racer. Racing out of Dallas, Georgia. This is Bob Johnson on the Winston Lane next. Peyton Body Man with the 69 Chevy Camaro. 391 cubic inch Chevrolet power plant with a five speed. Goes up against Todd Merkel, former NMCA world champion out of New York on the Goodyear side of the track. Nitrous ejected 403 cubic inch Chevy Big Block. In that 70 Camaro, four master sponsored entry for Scott Markle, who finished number nine in our Super Street point standings last year. Scott, along with his brother Todd, machinist to build racing engines during the week, building their own big block Chevy power plant, which is uh, So the starting line crew will check out Scott Markle's entry. Meanwhile, Bob Johnson counters problems on down the racetrack on what amounted to a single run, a 1040 speed of 94, shutting it off for Johnson out of Dallas, Georgia. He qualifies ace so far. Meanwhile, uh, Scott Markle's machine getting a look from the starting line crew here after having a fireball under the hood at the launch. So Markle will go back to the pits and make some adjustments. That car is certainly capable of running at the front of the pack, winning our Mabel Grove event earlier this year on the NMCA Tour. To get a high run, Georgia. That big block Corvette engine built by Bill Clinton, the driver of the Ford on the Goodyear lane. Flowmaster, along with Clinton Racing Engines, supporting Bill Clinton's efforts. Of course, he's the son of the famous Bob Clinton, 10 time NHRA World Champion Pro Stock Racer and the winningest NHRA drag racer of all time. So, Bill certainly had a good mentor to uh, teach him the ropes of championship drag racing, no doubt about that.
Chevrolet power plant, 434 cubic inches in that low riding Chevelle. Looks like it's just about down on the rocker panels over there on the Goodyear Lane. Huber 
running a 413 cubic inch Chevy V8 in the 97 S10 pickup out of St. Leon, Indiana. Truck involved in a, quite a wild racing mishap earlier this year where a barrel rolled several times. Uh, still hadn't had time to repaint it after rebuilding it, but since uh, coming back from the crash, Huber's run extremely well with this pickup truck. Becoming one of the front runners in the field, that's for sure, in Super Street here in the late part of the 1999 season. Joel Greathouse going again. Back to number three, 830, speed of 164 for Great House with his supercharged Ford from Kentucky. Qualifies number seven, Bill Clinton at 780, still your top qualifier. Here's Josh McClellan of Fitzgerald, Georgia. He'll go next on the Goodyear lane. 390 cube against Chevrolet with a five speed transmission inside that 69 Z28 Camaro. His opponents from Dallas, Georgia, that'll be Kevin Scott with a 352 cube against Chevrolet power plant in the 70 Nova. Josh McClellan on the Goodyear side, a guy who's run of the sixes before at a dragster, used to run the NHRA competition eliminator, switching over to door slammer competition here in 1999. They're getting some help on this machine from no less than Tony Bruce. Five-speed Chevy shows the way at 802, 169 for the Fitzgerald Georgia-based driver. Scott goes 895 at 150. McClellan qualifies fourth on the chart with the five-speed Camaro. Scott number 16 on the list. <laughs> well, up next, the Dynamax Chevrolet campaign by Nick Scavo of Elk Grove, Illinois. He'll be on the Chevy Camaro. Show quality car. Go take a look at it down on the pit area. Very well detailed. One of the best running Chevys in the class. Finished number five at a world championship points last year. No Clinton currently the top ball. Josh McClellan, number four at 802. Escavo rips down the Atlanta Dragway quarter mile at 879, 116 as he shut off early. So that will qualify him in the field, but not quite been on the seventh before, so uh, he'll be a good bet to improve in the second session coming up later on. Coming up next with the twin turbo setup on the 57 Chevrolet. Pardon me, single turbo setup on the 57 Chevrolet. Twin turbo is not permitted in this class, uh, if I recall. Up like a vacuum cleaner on steroids as it washes off the line. Goes 745, 170 miles an hour. He's the number one qualifier by a country mile. Boy, howdy. 745, 170 miles an hour for Dudley. Everybody thought Clinton could break the bag. <laughs> but uh, still, at 745, uh, Shaking up these Super Street troops a little bit as <laughs> you look to the scoreboard. But uh, in Memphis a couple weeks ago, they had the same problem with that car, so apparently something is blocking the beams of the starting line on that machine, or at least that's the way it appears. Thank you. 
In this category, you can run nitrous oxide, you can run turbochargers, you can run superchargers, and you can run any size drag sled. California going against Georgia's own Joe Colbert. Bob Rieger on the Winston Lane. Millionaire businessman at the wheel of his San Jose, California-based 99 Chevy S10 truck. Sherry Bickle race car is built entry with the twin turbo small block setup. It's run very strong since switching over from the mountain motors. Of course, uh, Rieger has the money it takes to run with the lead dogs, no doubt about that. Very successful businessman who made a fortune with the computer and internet business and the Tony Christian in the staging place, as he likes to say. Burnout's completed here. A couple of different combinations. The twin turbo setup, uh, somewhat controversial, depending on who you ask in the Pro Street pit area. Bob Rieger on the Winston side, the California, and up against George's own Joel Culver. Shotgun Ford equipped 96 Thunderbird of the Culver Brothers. qualifier with only one run posted on the board so far as Culbert got no time recorded. Bit of uh, smoke out of the motor at the top end on the Thunderbird. Hopefully uh, not doing any damage.
advantage under the existing rules. Of course, though, there have been some adjustments made for the uh, year 2000, we understand. So we'll see what Music can do here this weekend as he has not run in NMCA competition the past couple of events returning for this race. Yeah. Oh, there he comes. Wayne, 61 Chevy, you got it. 
There you go. Hot round about the bit of hot round magazine. And, uh, Craig, I tell just a little bit about that car. You got a big motor in there. Uh, I mean, what about the transmission? Once you all kind of get head back to 1955, you had a built in big there. No kidding. Well, it works. But how about getting that lens to work up on that little thing? Okay, Santa, thanks for bringing out that's a beautiful car. By the way, Jeff Chu from Chevrolet Ring Shop was here looking at it. We'll be back momentarily
round at this point. Jim Huber, the leader at 796. Scott Burkle, number two at 807. Behind him.
works out. The slower qualified cars have to race the higher qualified cars. Like in a 32 car field, 32 races number one of the first rounds. So you do see some uh, rather lots of the race. Ward goes 976, 136 with the 
and comes up second place in that pair. Seven Camaro, 30th anniversary style paint job on board for Wilford Chevrolet out of Tennessee. He qualified number six this weekend with his nitrous big block combination. John Carter qualified 11th with the unique Studebaker. The car that was built back in 1965 as far as the body works, but uh, still looks very victory of 708, 200 miles an hour for Rod Williford as the Tennessee campaigner comes back in round two on the Goodyear Lane. 749, 184 for John Carter to win the world championship. He's going to have pretty much win the race and uh, set a record as well, it looks like, to uh, have any shot at pulling it off. So Tony Christian, of course, knows that it's very important to uh, get a win light right here. Now it's easy to do because his opponent fails to show in round one. Shuts it off early and saves the parts and pieces for round two. He goes 834, speed of 131, ran 493 in the eighth. Or actually, the S10 truck of Bob Rieger that ran 6.776. Rounds come up on the turn over. quicker than that. It's 745, 195, and takes the legal buy run or competition break buy run victory. Steve Ford is scheduled as he looks for more valuable points here toward the NFCA World Championship in Pro Street. Of course, it's arch rival Tony Christian's already advanced here in the first round, and this will be our final machine here in the first round competition of Pro Street. recorded so that's bad news for Rieger as he throws away a shot on a competition break by run 684-3 the run he needed but he got no times so that he will be the winner due to the fact that that was a by run he'll be back in round two but uh, every run counts here you don't want to throw that away
175 miles an hour with street action on the western side of Virginia's Jeff Norton. Last year in the Pro Street Course, while 